talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. Hey guys. No. Welcome to Vlogmas. So also calling it Linmas. Muchos gracias, señorita. Because people seem to hate it. Okay, yeah, but don't try to pull that shit my mom pulls and tell me, well, how do you know you hate it because you didn't even try it? We tried it at least, okay? So suck it. At least we know we hate it. Just getting ready for the day. I want to say personally, thank you everyone for the birthday wishes for Becky. It's very appreciated. Um, I'm about to do some dry shampoo. This one is the best. It's the Bautiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, clean and original. Get it? Here's a better idea. Don't. Getting baby powders cheaper, what you need to do is put that on your hair, at the, the hairline, let that sit in there for a few seconds, and then comb it out of your hair. Then ha blow dry your hair. Cause that's what that shit is with a little bit of fragrance yeah 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 yeah. it fucking dries up your oil in your hair and gets rid of it that's what that's what that dry shampoo shit is yeah this is baby powder that's an old trick of moms who have colicky babies trust me i knew a lot of them they spent all their time sleeping because they never got any. <clears throat> so what they did was they had to uh, skip showering. They put a little baby powder in their hair, shake that shit about. You just spent two dollars extra on baby powder. You just spraying that shit in your hair. Works very well. I usually just let it sit. So this is how I look with gray hair. Yeah, no. never gonna happen. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just pulled a gray hair out of your head like three days ago. How are you saying you're never gonna get gray hair? You're younger than I am, and that shit's creeping up on you, Jive, fast. <laughs> I'm not throwing shade. I'm serious. She's younger than I am, and she has gray hair. Poor girl. Where did I put... Oh, okay. thought I lost the back to the earring. Do you guys ever have that thing where it's like, okay, you have a closet full of clothes but you still feel like you have absolutely nothing to wear. I spend my days in my PJ pants because I only have two pair of jeans that I'm trying to hold together through prayer and iron-on patches, hooker. Seriously. And you're asking me if I have a closet full of clothes but can never figure out what to wear. Yeah. Also, I can never figure out when what jewels to wear with my wedding dresses. Because I got eight of them and I just like to wear them around and feel posh. Are you fucking kidding me? And I just can't figure out which Prada bag to wear with whatever. You, are you... F are you fucking kidding me right now? Go fuck yourself. Eat a dick and die. I have to wait for the holidays to get Chuck Taylors and you're eating a dick. I am whole closet full of clothes and I don't know what to wear. You can eat a dick. That's definitely the worst feeling. Uh, I don't know. I think my worst feeling is uh, which Birkin bag I want to keep my dildo in. 
That is still the worst feeling I ever had when I accessorize. Making that decision was the hardest one I ever had. It's like a real Sophie's choice. So I do have uh, two YouTube comments I want to read. I just was skimming them a little bit earlier when I woke up. Okay, guaranteed. It's one of three. Someone either said something extremely mean to her, which she has to put out there and then comment to. That was something very unappreciated and very blown out of proportion. And she has to speak on it because it's brought up very often. Or someone said very kind thing to her and she wants to thank them from the bottom of her fucking heart if she had one. It's really from the bottom of the place that her heart should be that it doesn't exist. Or three. It's something horrible that she can't believe a bunch of people agreed with. Let's see which one it is. Hmm? My heart's just lumping with anticipation on what this would be. Something nice, something mean, or something mean that she couldn't believe everyone agreed with. So we're gonna do that here in a minute. I mainly just want the dry shampoo right here because that's how I wanna part my hair. I also really like dry shampoo because it's like, it kind of gives a little volume. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put on some lip stuff. I'm gonna be using Buxom in the color Sugar. It is a, a plumping lip polish, but let's be real. My lips are super small. You guys wanna hear something shitty? I am allergic to lip plumper. I am. I found out in the worst way too. My daughter got some stuff that was lip plumping and I tried it and I'm like, why do my lips itch? That's weird. I guess that's why, how you know that it's plumping your lips. And I'm like, wow, my lips are warm, itchy and, and kind of burning. I'm like, that's so weird. But I guess that means it's working because I've never used it before. And I was like, fuck this. I don't care if it's plumping shit. I'm taking it right on off. I took the shit off and I was like, um, the burning went away, but it's still a little bit itchy. So I scrubbed the shit out of my mouth. I'm like, fuck that. And I told my daughter, I was like, you can have that trash. Made my mouth hurt. And she's like, well, your lips just look red. I was like, I don't give a shit. They don't look plump. They look itchy. And then I found out later that uh, if I kept on any longer, I probably would have swollen lips huge swollen nasty lips i was like great that looked like they were chemical burns because i looked it up and that's what happens to people i'm like great so glad i didn't keep that on thinking that's what that's supposed to do when it gets to the burning point ladies and gentlemen it doesn't mean it's working it's not supposed to do that burning burning is not what plumpers do uh, things that you're allergic to that that's what that is that that's what that's what that means. Burning means you're allergic. I was unsure at itching, but when it goes to burning, that's close to an STD. That's when you gotta pull the. So it doesn't really work, but I love this stuff. Smells good, feels good, looks good. Sometimes a girl just needs some gloss, you know, some lip. Plumper hurts really bad, but this doesn't. I will say though, that compared to other lip plumpers I have used in the past, I feel this one on my tongue and I don't feel any others on my tongue, so weird. Okay.
can't really. <laughs> Dear Amberlynn, some lip plumpers, some lip plumpers. <laughs> some lip plumpers feel tingly. Pain should not be in there. And you should not feel it on your tongue, jackass. Someone should send her. Not a WebMD joint. Oh, fucking wow. If you have itching, burning, redness, pain, or any type of dis dis discomfort around your mouth or on your tongue, you should discontinue the motherfucker use of lip plumping lip gloss. You know what? Amberlynn, you just go for it, girl. You go out and get yourself some. You wear it wherever you want to. Your ass, your lips, wherever. The ones on your face, you nasty bitches. Y'all are gross. You just, never mind. Wear it wherever. So the two YouTube comments I want to read. So I feel like this person explained things a little better. Some people explain things better than I can or like better than I can convey. A lot of people are having issues with like Becky buying me gifts, saying that it's like my money and blah, blah, blah. But this person said, it's not unheard of for couples to share or use the same money even if only one works. It's a thought that counts and it doesn't matter what money Becky is using to buy Amber's gifts. People be trying way too hard to find something to criticize. Can they just have happy moments like everybody else? They're cute and I'm happy for them. Thank you, by the way. Yeah, I 100% agree. I don't care where Becky gets the money as long as she's not hurting herself and her and I do share the same bank account and share the same money. It is very common for if YouTubers make enough money, then their significant other just stays home with them. And I just think it's crazy that like, what we do with our money is like so talked about because it's really no one else's business. One of the biggest rumors is that people think that Becky's on like welfare or something. No, she is not. I don't think Becky is on welfare, but I think your money is brought up a lot and is on everyone's mind a lot is because you're always shoving it in people's faces. You're always buying shit. Every, you, in almost every vlog, you're buying things. You're doing hauls, you're buying groceries, you're, you always seem to be buying things. If you don't seem to ever be doing something without buying, you're always buying, buying, buying. Like, that's why it's a constant subject. It's, it's because you are money oriented. There's nothing you can do that doesn't revolve around money or eating. And you're, it's like you, it's like if you lit someone on fire constantly and everyone that's watching told you to stop lighting people on fire and you're like, I don't know why you guys are always preoccupied with fire. It's because bitch, you keep lighting everybody on fucking fire. That's why. And then you're like, well, I don't know why you guys always try to tell me to stop playing fire like it's your business. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't buy everything. Or were always going to buy things. Always telling us how much something cost. Or how much you're going to buy something. And how you're saving for it. I mean. I don't know. Think about that. Just really think about it. I don't know. 
you seem to, to not care about about telling people how much you put towards something or how much something costs and how much you're going to buy and how much this, how much that, how much this costs until it works negatively in your favor or you find out that that's not okay or that wasn't exactly supposed to go that way or that's not normal to spend that much money on something. And then you're like, why are you spend, why why are you guys talking about my money all the time to try to get everybody to not pay attention to your fucking money? Yeah. So the next comment says, Becca, Dana, and Destiny all lost their mothers this year and Amberlynn lost her uterus. And it's so heartbreaking that to hear them laughing is a joy and a treat. Being light in your heart is key to surviving tragedy and they will endure if they all lean on each other. Be well. I read this and teared up because it's true. Um, it's been a hard year for all of us and when we all come together, there's a sense of like, especially for the three of them, they all understand and have gone through the exact same thing this year. And it's just sad to see the comments, people trying to tear each other down and tear Becky down and tear Destiny and Dana and me. It's just like, why can't there be more positivity? It is not uncommon for exes to stay friends. I don't even think, think of Destiny as an ex anymore. We're all just friends and people just can't let stuff go. And I don't think anyone understands how much Becky actually loves Dana and Destiny. And people just assume that it's like me who invited them over and it's not <laughs> at all. Oh, that's so great. But just like you can, you hate being the one who is pinned as being the one who is in love with your ex. Oh, and that people think that Becky doesn't really like Dana and Destiny. I hate being told that I'm ripping everyone down in your comments section and I don't think friends can't be friends or exes can't be friends. I think you're full of shit. I don't give a shit, honestly. And I don't like to be lumped in as someone who makes a nasty comment in your comment section because I never fucking do. I don't give a shit what you do. You could be banging all fucking three of them for all I fucking give a shit. Stop saying you all. I have never given a shit, honestly. I hate to be lectured at by someone who's as fake as fucking hell. You have no idea about any of us, nor have you ever given a shit. You've never given a shit about any of your people who watch you. So don't tell me what I give a fuck about or who I tear down or build up. You're full of shit. Every fucking time you pull some shit out of your comment section, you go on this diatribe about building people up and tearing them down. Why can't you guys be friends? Shut the fuck up. I am not having the lifetime for you to give me fucking morals from a pedestal. Fuck off. Every fucking time she lumps me in with you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys. I'm so sick of hearing you guys. Now she's telling me I'm supposed to be happy and fuzzy and lovey with fucking strangers. Because apparently I've been mean to strangers. Which I wasn't fucking aware of. <sighs> the only people I've been mean to that were strangers were her fucktards that came in my comments section. And I had fun doing it, by the way. It was great. I enjoyed it. So when she says, you guys, I'm 
guessing she meant her little amber tards to go talk to me in my comment section and in my DMs. Thanks, ladies. Had a blast. I'm really sick of hearing you guys. She acts like she's fuzzy and sweet and PC and just a love bunny. Fuck you. Stuff a Care Bear up your ass and light it on fire. I'm sorry, that went... That went way too far. I'm having a high pain day and I'm sick of people. This whole, you guys need to build people up, not tear them down, bullshit is like telling a woman to smile. to look prettier that way. Sorry. Moving on, shall we? All right, you guys, it's time for, what is this? Day 12? Uh, day 12. Mm -hmm. Becky has not slept all night. No, and it is really hot, mainly because I was outside and it's like 60 something degrees outside and I get hot really easily. Yeah, so she looks super tired, that's why. For some reason she couldn't fall asleep. She's been having really bad RLS, so. Yes, even like my like prescribed medicine like isn't really helping anymore, you know? Oh baby, you need to see a doctor. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Seriously, what did you just say? What did you just say? Go see a doctor? Oh, you can fuck the fuck right the fuck off, you fucking cum and wonder cunt. You are so fucking... I'm... Mmm. Ooh. I'm fine. We're all fine here. I know. But on a lighter note... Here you go. Please not it Ooh. These are so pretty. I love the color. I do too. Love them. That's um, mainly why I got them was the color. Yeah. I honestly love these so much. They're very pretty. I'm gonna wear them soon. Yes, I am. Stop singing. No one likes the way you sing or dance, so don't even begin that either. They wouldn't match your one yellow like sweater thing, but that's kind of too matchy matchy, isn't it? Yeah, I, w I don't think I would wear yellow earrings with a yellow sweater. Yeah, that's it's too just, much. You know, it depends on how I feel. So the lighting is kind of bad when I'm showing you. So how do we want to do this? Well, I look like a hot mess anyway, so the less they see, the better. <laughs> Babe, that is not true. Okay. All right, your gift time. Oh boy. I actually do not know where this one is located today. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. I wasn't expecting this shape. Okay, what do you think that is with that shape? I honestly don't know. It's like opening and everything. It's totally a hat. All right. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. It's like a little pride. Yeah, I um I wanted you to get like a pride hat, so I just typed in LGBT hats. That's cute, babe. And I like that one a lot. If there's ever a freaking pride again because of COVID, I'm gonna wear this. Oh yeah. Thank you, baby. You should try it on. You're welcome. Oh, you want me to try it on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, hold on. Cause I got a round head. 
No. Well, I mean, everyone has a round head. It looks good. Oh, poor Becky. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it makes her chin look so big. It makes the hat look tiny. Oh. Poor Becky. She had lost so much weight. Oh, she needs to open the hat up. She needs to give herself a few more notches on that motherfucker. I feel so bad for her. Remember how she lost all that weight? Come on, Becky. Bring out some more notches on that motherfucker. Release the beast. It's making your chin look big. I'm just saying. Does it fit well? Mm -hmm. Feels nice? It does. Hi, baby. Oh, look. There's a little Carter. A quarter. They've had Carter for um, almost four years. I just thought I'd... Just thought I'd say, huh? Say, I'm, I'm not a new. I'm not a new new. I'm not a new new. No. Oh my goodness. Oh gee, Louise. Can't stand it. I'm trying to make it to where he doesn't like pull down my shirt and show my cleave or fall, yeah. He's such a loving little baby. Yeah, he is a sweetheart. Look at this. That'd be loud. Okay, so I have a little haul moment. I don't remember even what I ordered from two of these packages, but here's one. Oh wait, before I do the haul, Becky's taking a nap by the way, so she can't film me, but I forgot to open the, um, the um, garbage pill kids. Becky said I could do it while she's napping, so. All right, so today is day 12. Whoa, and we have Hot Scott. That is um, terrifying. Can you mute that, homie? I don't know if that's copyright or not, so that's why. All right. So Dana is watching me, and you're gonna, if you watch the video, you're gonna see what I edit out versus what I keep. <laughs> the other day, my video, when I put it into iMovie, it was 45 minutes long, but then after I was done editing it, it went all the way down to 24 minutes. So that's how much I take out sometimes. Okay, so I got a Christmas movie called last christmas so you know that's that you should definitely watch like that tonight you want to yeah. becky probably would what is this whatever this is it's not in my it's in amber reed instead of amberlin reed so i wonder what it could be because a lot of my stuff is in amberlin reed Oh, it's literally Sephora. It says right here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I ordered some makeup. I ordered some rare beauty products because um, I ordered their eyeliner and I actually really like it. So I decided to order more. Okay, so this is a liquid touch brush. It's just a foundation brush, literally. That's all it is. It just looks like this, super cute. What I like about Rare Beauty is like, it's also simplistic looking and I love that. So we got some liquid touch weightless foundation. Like wait until you see how cute this looks. Look, okay, so this might be way too light for me cause I got number 110. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be too light. Like look. Holy moly. I just want to test it. Okay, yeah. We need to get a darker shade, I'm thinking. I mean, that would be good to use for, like, concealer or something. Um, I don't know. I'm definitely going to test it out. And I might have to get the shade one shade higher than that, which is totally fine. It's just really hard to find your right shade. I mean, James Charles is, like, makeup guru of the world and he still has a problem so um i have some always an optimist illuminating primer so that is what it looks like i accidentally, accidentally put a little too much but oh i love how it feels and looks girl i actually really like this 
Next, we have Brow Harmony Cran and Gel. So it's literally an eyebrow moment. We have an eyebrow brush. And on the other side, we have the eyebrow pencil. So I'm excited to try all of this. The last thing is some matte liquid blush and I got it in the color Bliss. So I know for a fact I'm going to absolutely love this. I just love their packaging, it's so cute. So everything looks great. I'm just actually really sad about the foundation color, but I think we can make this work. Maybe with um, some of the blush, it'll make it look just like a little bit darker or whatever. All right, so I have one more box and it is, um, Bath and Body Works. I'm glad Becky's not in here because I actually got her a gift. <laughs> I got her another Christmas gift, so don't say anything, anyone. Thank you. All right, so I got kind of a lot. <laughs> I must have been manic. Okay, look. Yeah. So you spent... A shitload of money during a manic period. Excuse me, I burped. Now you're opening it in front of a bunch of people. I wonder why people would have invested interest in you not spending money. I wonder. You know, people with bipolar disorder can spend themselves into the poorhouse many times over. <sighs> wow. I wonder why people would not want you to spend a whole rack ass of money. Well, what do I know? I just work here, right? See, this is that shit I'm talking about. You open a bunch of trash. You say stupid shit. And you wonder why people tell you you shouldn't be spending money. Especially when you make a comment about, oh, I bought a lot of stuff. I must have been manic. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> you must have been manic. So you're spending money whilst in a manic state when you're bipolar. Oh, man. Out of sign math, sound mind. Yeah, I wonder why people would worry about you spending money. Large amounts of money. It's like giving a fucking 13 year old your credit card. But you know, you know best. We're all just haters out here. It's kind of a lot. Absolute haters. Um, I'm not gonna show everything. That's just crazy. I got some wallflowers, sweater weather, the perfect Christmas, um, black tie, yum. Marshmallow fireside, you know. Black tie's my favorite one. It smells bomb, ain't it? Not with the it is. <laughs> And I'm not gonna show what I got Becky, but um, I also got frosted coconut snowball and evergreen. Sometimes how they package this stuff is terrible. crazy. And then I got me some lotion. I got the snowflakes and cashmere. I've never actually smelled this before. That's Dana one that has that one. Are you serious? Yes, it smells so good, you're gonna love it. Oh girl, that smells great. That one and the, um, the champagne toast. 
are two of my favorite that's, scents. That's the one that I always use. How weird. So when I wrap all this, should I just keep it in like one box? Yeah. Or should I do it all individual? No. Yeah, oh, that's all right. I'm glad they packaged the game was better. You remember how they used to in like those cartons? Yeah. I don't think that's not so good. No, it's not. And then I got this um, wallflower. I thought it was super cute. It goes with my aesthetic, kind of. Because it's cute. <laughs> and then I got one more of those. Ooh, I like that one. That's I know, cute. isn't it so cute? That looked really good in your guys' room. What are you doing? There we go. I also got some, um, what do they call these? Room sprays, marshmallow fireside, um, gingham, I'm probably saying that wrong, um, eucalyptus mint, holiday, black tie, um, fresh balsam, frozen lake, you know, just random ones like that. Flannel, which is one of my absolute favorites. Winter, bergamot waters and endless weekend which is also another one of my favorites so just some random some random so okay i just me and dana just figured out a word that's kind of like gross like moist secretes secretes, secretes just sounds really gross <laughs> so here's an update on our life dana's doing her full face of makeup over here in the dark like a pro destiny is wrapping gifts and becky is eating Icy slushy water. slushy water and Santa Claus is on and I'm waiting for Starbucks I decided to get a frap so this is what Carter is doing this is what Twinkie's doing I'm a dog whisperer if we put 30 on here the house would have burned down <laughs> <laughs> I should have done the one in the middle first are you singing to go wait till we all start singing Ow. <laughs> you gotta wait till we all start singing, Twain. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Child, <laughs> that wouldn't lit back up. Did you see it? Becky's favorite cake, and many more 30 flirty on channel four, and, and a big fat lady <laughs> on channel 80, and Scooby Doo oh, on channel two. I was about to say, Am I the fat lady <laughs> on channel 80? I've only ever heard him many more on channel four. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Or, Frankenstein on channel one nine. Smell like one too. Oh yeah. yeah. Or what something about a garbage can. <laughs> Have you heard of the Frankenstein on channel nine? No, that's a good one. Oh wow. Huh. I don't know what other ones I've heard. I haven't heard of any of these. The only thing that came after "Happy Birthday, Blow the Fucking Candles Out." The only thing that happened after that was, y'all keep your fucking hands out of the cake or nobody gets any. To you. Keep your fucking hands out of the cake or nobody gets any fucking cake. That's what comes after that. You're welcome. But y'all are talking about some bullshit. That shit never existed up here in Maryland. Oh, wait, there was one other one. If you lived closer in to D.C., you heard, I'm a bust you in the side of your head, you touched a fucking cake again. I don't give a shit how much of your finger you put in the icing. You touch it again, I'm going to bust the shit out of you. That's what you heard. Those are the two things you heard in Maryland. Anyone touch a fucking cake, gets no cake at all, and touch the cake again, I'm going to bust the shit out of you. That's what you heard. Those are the two things you heard in Maryland. Okay, so we're finally having some of the cake. I'm gonna do a little taste test moment. You don't like it? I don't think I've ever had it. Oh, that's just chocolate cake with coconut. Oh. I bet you'll like it. You like coconut, don't you? Mm hmm. Not me. I highly doubt there is cake 
that Amber Lynn has eaten that she hasn't liked. As much as she tries to say she's had cake she didn't like, I highly doubt it. It's good. The only time I've ever like had something that had coconut in it that I liked, um, one of my friends made a big snowball cake and she used like fresh coconut and that was really good. And you actually ate it? Yeah. What do you mean did you actually eat it? I mean, I know she says she, I think she was the one who said she didn't like coconut. But someone made a cake for her. And Dana doesn't seem like she's that big of a dick. She probably would try it. I mean, I know Amberlynn wouldn't. Like, if someone's like, I made this cake from scratch for you, Amberlynn would look at it and be like, um, I don't like it. You're going to have to eat it on your own. I don't think Dana would do that. I think she would be like, well, I'm kind of full. Could you cut me a small piece? And she would still try it. Even though she would just not fucking like it. I think she did that and realized, oh, it actually tastes good. I'll just fucking eat the shit. But like, yeah. Everyone else on the planet would at least try to stomach a couple bites. Um... Amberlynn, I don't think you would, but other people might. I just like how she said it. And you ate it? <laughs> it's like, yeah, um, someone made it for me. Asshole. I yeah. actually liked it. It's a big one. Destiny, you want to do a taste test? I love how good taste it smells. Now. <laughs> I've cool. had it before. You've had it? Mm. What do you think? It's good. Oh my God, have you, have you guys ever had strawberry poke cake? No, what was that? Oh my, yes, baby, you have had it. I've had strawberry poke cake? Yeah, my mom would make it all the time. Oh, with the holes? Yeah, she would uh, mm. take a strawberry jello mix, mm -hmm. but not let it become jello. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. After the yellow cake was done, she would poke holes in it and pour the jello liquid in there and it like soaks into the cake and then you like make the top with like uh cool whip and other stuff like powdered sugar you know sugar and stuff like that it's so good that, that sounds, sounds good, good. <laughs> <laughs> i think i yeah i think i like that better than this Carter said, i want to buy it you can't have that <laughs> oh he's gone so you guys want to play Loaded questions? Yes. Yes. What do you think, babe? Mm-hmm. Zero through ten. On the cake? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight. I give it like a 6.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it dry? No. No. I think yeah. probably what I'm not a big fan about it is this kind of awesome. Really? What yeah. don't you like about it? Do you like whipped icing? I like like the actual kind that you get out of like Not a Duncan really. Hans thing. Like yes. milk chocolate. You know? Yeah. This is like a fondant top deal. I also have some milk. Fudge. I love whipped buttercream. It's my favorite. I, I think that's my fave too. I'll tell y'all, this cake is good and moist. It's nice. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it, thankfully. <sighs> That's the end, my friends. Thank God. Sorry I lost my shit. I'm having an extremely bad pain day, and I'm super sick of being they. They. I'm always they. I don't understand why I always gotta be they. And then once I'm they, I get a morality lecture. I'm sure you guys are sick of it too. 
we become they and immediately we become like the just horribles of horrible and I was just not having it today my bad you know what I mean I don't it takes a lot for me to leave a comment under on any of her videos I do it very rarely that's why I have my little my little channel here in the middle of nowhere and I don't take my shit to her front door but apparently I'm still the bad guy on this one I keep my comments to my little area I can't come to her channel but yet her little fledgling douchebags come to mine you know what I'm saying I mean I don't mind I don't mind being an asshole honestly I am like a third level douchebag it's nice it's really nice get discounts at airports on airfare it's true but well guys it's been swell but the swelling's gone down I applied ice taken some ibuprofen and the magic has happened I appreciate you guys listening to me whine. I've centered myself now. And I'm going to come back tomorrow and be a much better person on the inside as well as the outside. Hmm. Namaste. Sure, whatever the fuck. <sighs> All right, guys, for real, for real. Tomorrow, like, subscribe, share. But if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I'm an asshole. I say mean things to mean people, and I go out of my way to go to other people's pages and write long, nasty grams about tons of shit. About their money and their faces and all sorts of shit. I make sure to let them know how just how douchebaggy I am. Douchebaggy is a word I used in the sentence. No take backs. So excuse me, I burped. You didn't hear it because I burped in my mouth, but I, it happened. It did. It really did. It burped. Anyways. If you don't want to like, subscribe, or share, it'll be fine because I'll still be sitting here in this chair talking to myself into this camera as per usual. It should be fine. No one pays attention to me anyways, right? Alright, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Be nice to everybody. Make sure you recycle. Stay away from a goddamn elf on a shelf. God, that guy is creepy. Write your letters to Santa. Bake your cookies. And run over your grandma. Blame it on the elves. And the reindeer. That fat drunk guy driving the sleigh. He says he's Santa, but I don't believe him. He's tried to fill me up twice. I'm gonna get a restraining order. He keeps telling me to come sit on his lap. Fat bastard. I'll talk to you guys later. Adieu, sis.